us welcome to vlog number one, Ian. My audience of one. Maybe Elena as well. Where's Joffy? I'm right here, Elena. On your screen. Don't touch me. You're dirty. Wash your hands. Okay? Don't forget to wash your hands. Vlog number one is starting out weird, and they're all going to start and uh, they're going to start weird, but they're not going to end weird. What's this? Who the frick cares? None of your business. Maybe you'll hear about it later. This microphone is not hooked up to, um, well, ag it is actually hooked up to the computer, but it's not hooked up to the app because I was born in 1990. And my school didn't do a very good job about teaching you how to use the computer. And I guess I haven't done a very good job at schooling myself on the computer since school. But who really cares about all that? This ain't going to get no views, you dumbass, Matt. But that's all right. I've, I was just rapping for like the last mm, hour and a half. It felt really good. <sighs> because I have this microphone hooked up to my computer. And that, uh, that took a long time for me to do. M and it really wasn't that complicated, although I did kind of get like a little short hu shortcut hack, hut hut hike, uh, to hook it up to the computer. But even if I was approaching the, the situation prior to my shortcut hack, I think the main flaw was, was literally just fear. And it's so stupid when I think back about it because what was I genuinely afraid of? It, there was literally, I, I live alone here. It's a, it's a, it's a quiet place. Not unlike the movie, filled with its own special, unique horrors. But it's also a beautiful place. But it's just me here. So there was nobody to make fun of me. If it didn't go well, on my first try or on my thousandth try. And that just goes to show the power of fear. And our self-judgment and our critique of ourself literally even before we've begun trying something we've already started to defeat ourselves and construct our armaments against ourselves in this totally unnecessary and invisible war i i was really lucky last year um to meet a woman <laughs> it's very hard to do that in uh in in modern times the 21st eth century post Ronius. Um, and this, this woman uh, said two things that coincide with each other and they both so deeply resonate with me that it's, I think it's really important that I convey them to you. Um, and she said, when the spirit moves you to do something, do it. It sounds so simple. But it's uh, it's so powerful. It's something I think you should get tattooed on you, if you're considering getting some short phrase inked up on you, on your elbow, right above your butt crack. And um, it is so powerful because of this following statement. And uh, I could pull out of the uh, hole right below my butt crack some figure some two-digit number, and it would sound agreeable because this is such an abstract fact, but let's just reach and say 90% of the energy that human beings expend on a task is actually prior to the beginning of the execution of that task. This is a startling reality. 90% is not too far off of the truth. If we really wanted to get scientific about it, I would love to have <coughs> some donations <coughs> uh, uh, so I could do some scientific studies myself, but that's going to involve you know other people than me. 
I'm the only person that's doing this for free. I don't know anyone else out there who's doing everything for free. But anyway, back on track is that in that process of fighting ourselves, we expend more energy internally than we actually end up expending throughout the process of completing that task that we're so worried about failing at. So number one is when you have this luxury of the harmony of the universe and you are within its accordance and it is flowing through you and the spirit says, hey, let's go wash them dishes, maybe stank them. Or the spirit says, let's finish our homework, for instance. Finish your homework. It may literally be, and this sounds crazy because I don't believe that you can heal yourself from the future, you know, heal your past self with your future self. Create your future with your future, not your past. Mumbo jumbo. Tony Robbins, just stop it. Stop it. You've done enough. You're a good man. We all believe you're a good man. If you would just believe it, then maybe you could stop it. But um, Spirit has provoked you to do something. It has asked you to do something. And uh, if it may very well be your homework, I did have this distinct sensation. And I, it's, it's really weird because I don't recall directly ever saying it. I have an outstanding memory despite that short-term lapse right there. But that's just it being 5 o'clock in the morning and the drugs that I've done. Um But I, I just I had this very distinct sensation when I was in high school still that I, I literally heard a voice outside of myself. I'm you know pretty aware when I hear the internal dialogue or monologue or trilogue. I don't know if that's a word, but let's throw it in there because sometimes we're schizo, but we're, we're, we're not really. We're just bipolar. Um, but as if we continue saying we, then we might be something else other than that, and that's okay. But I know when I've produced the, th the sound inside of my head that I'm hearing or when I'm hearing it externally. And uh, I even, you know, recall much, much younger incidents where I was taunting or literally haunting myself after, um, you know, just having an evening of precarious events or other tumult and such turbulence throughout life being in a dark place and creating increased darkness in my mind uh, almost performative of the narrative that we've ingested or absorbed one way or another but that's a story for a whole nother video because it's, uh, it's an interesting and I think pretty popular topic right now I remember telling myself in high school it felt like from the future. It felt like I was literally shouting at myself from the future. I, and I can't, like I said, I can't tell you what age this was because I really don't think it's happened yet, and I'm 33 and a half years old. So I hope things don't go so poorly for another decade that I find instance or call to shout at my younger self. I hope I never get that destitute or bereft for other philosophies or ideologies that I start to scream at my past self because they're Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs, that's why you're dead. Um, but the butterfly effect of shouts and echoes, uh, can it go backwards in time? Well, but then we're doing a whole backward future, back to the future thing, and it, uh, nothing's real. And, and we're not going to go there because there is a real reality. But it's just not necessarily the the subjective visual reality that we assume it is. Uh, nonetheless, beyond the collective unconscious and what we collectively experience here in our conscious on the planet Earth, our one home that I know of for now, and you all know of for now, but give it a couple of years and the space hotels are going to start popping off and... Uh, 
I can just only imagine the literal shit storms that are going to come down from those m- mega monstrosities. That's a beautiful thought, isn't it? I wonder where this where the word uh shit storm came from. Maybe this is one of those futuristic shouts from the past. Uh the future to the past? How does that even work? So you use 90% of your energy beating your dang self up instead of just learning how to hold the mic like the suicide boys and just get her ripping. Just let her go. Full send. Snowmobile with the denim jacket and the jeans to match. Not America. Canada. They catching the disease too. It took me like five minutes to figure out how to use my microphone on this program to uh to make music rapidy music rippity rap hip hop you don't stop i just started and i couldn't be happier that's why i'm recording a video at almost five o'clock in the morning because i have enough energy and enthusiasm to believe in myself and and think that i might have something to offer to the world and You know, it's a really difficult place, honestly, to believe no matter how special or talented you are, that you have something genuinely unique and serviceable to offer this world. It is all too easy to want to just give up. I have no idea what you've been through, what you've witnessed, what you've experienced, but by mere fact of you watching this video, You have conquered it all, and you are still here. And I bet 90% of the energy that you spent to get here was just beating yourself up for no reason. Imagine, for real, imagine the life that you could have if you just stopped being so hard on yourself and turned maybe half of that energy into belief in yourself. I guarantee you, your life is going to improve to a state that is so spectacular. That's the fear that you have. You don't even recognize how good your life is. I want, I want you all to have good problems. Because there's just too many bad problems to have. And there's a lot of really good problems to have. Life does not have to be a problem to be solved. But there are many problems within it that need our attention. And we'll have a lot of extra extra energy to go around to give all those things, all the attention that they deserve. You just got to fight for yourself and start believing in yourself. Vlog number one. Ian, thanks for the idea. I'm going to get this mic legit hooked up so it looks fairy and stuff, and I can do fun things with it. This mic is just a week from now. I know this camera's pretty crappy, but it honestly might just be 